Hello everyone. I hope all of you are doing well. So in the last video, I have explained about the Gibbs rule for the construction of ionic volutes. Now in this video, I'm going to explain you the golden rule for the construction of ionic volutes. Okay. So for those who, have, who are attending this video for the first time, let me explain the difference between Gibbs rule and golden rule once again. In Gibbs rule, Usually they will give you the width and the height. And in golden rule, they will only give you the height. Okay. So now we are going with the golden rule. So if you are coming to my channel for the first time, please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell shaped icon because Usually whenever I'm posting such kind of videos and if you are not watching, I mean, if you're not there on my WhatsApp number, you will not be able to see the uh, status. So it's better if you press the bell shaped icon after subscribing so that whenever I'm starting any such informative videos at the, uh, I mean, at such type of timings, so you will receive a notification. Okay, so starting with the golden rule, as I told you, they will mention you the height. Okay, so whatever height is given, what you can do is, let's imagine that this height is something like 17 centimeters. Wow, I have made it exactly 17 centimeters. Okay, so just imagine that the height given in the question is 17 centimeter. This is one method in which the golden rule could be given. There is one more method uh, in which the height will be given and the uh, diameter of the circle will also be given. Okay. So I'm explaining you that problem in which only the height is given. All right. So because of the shortage of time, I think I will be able to explain you only this method. So the other method, method is also something very similar, but if the height is given, this is what you have to do. So just imagine that the height which I have taken is 17 centimeters. So what you have to do is you have to divide the entire line into eight parts. Okay. So 17 divided by eight, 17 divided by eight will be 2.8 one, two centimeters. Okay. Anyways, they will not give you such type of numbers. It will be very easy for you to divide it into eight parts. So since I have taken 17, so I'm getting it as 2.1. Let's do one thing. Let's make it as 18. Okay. Because it is an imaginary question. So that's why I'm just playing with it. So just imagine that in the question, they have given you a height of 18 centimeters. Okay, so what you have to do is you have to divide the entire line into eight parts. So it will be 2.25. So each part will be 2.25 centimeters. Okay, this is one, this is two. Okay, so 2.25. Don't go with this line. Let's go with this line. Okay, so likewise, what I'm doing is I'm just dividing this part. Okay. The entire line into eight parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So eight parts. Okay. I have irregularly divided this. So this is the line, whatever the height is given in the question, you have to divide that line into eight parts. And how do you have to do that? You have to do it by using the calculations. Okay. You have to divide it like this. So just take your calculator along with you in your exam. If they are allowing it well and good, if they are not allowing it, it's okay. No problem at all. But generally they will allow the calculator into the exam. Okay. So whatever the height is given, you have to divide it into eight parts next. Okay. This is one, this is two, this is three. Okay. This is four, five, six, seven, 
eight. So eight parts are there in this. All right. So next, what do we do? View. This is one part one. This is one part. This is second part. This is third part. This is fourth. This is fifth. This is sixth. This is seventh, and this is eighth. Okay. Eight parts are there. Next, what you have to do is you have to create a circle. Okay. So generally, what I <clears throat> advise is you make a circle from point three to four. Okay. Point three to four or four to five, but you have to make sure that whenever you are making a circle, the number of parts on the top should be more, and the number of parts below the circle should be less. Okay, like suppose if I am making a circle over here, so on the top only two parts will be there, and at the bottom one, two, three, four, five, five parts will be there. So this is wrong. Okay, so what you have to do is you have to create this circle at in such a part such that the number of parts on the top is more and the number of parts on the bottom of the circle is less. So what I am doing is I am creating this circle over here. Okay, so how do we create the circle? This is the diameter. Okay, from this point to this point is the di diameter. So in order to create the circle, you have to find out the radius. Okay, so radius is very easy. Half of this. Okay, then place the compass. Let me demonstrate. So place the compass in the center of these two points. Okay, and create a circle. Okay, you have to create a circle. Then next, what we have to do? Let me just enlarge this circle. I'll do it on the other page. So I'm just enlarging the circle that that I have created on the last page. Okay. So. This is one point. This is one point. Okay. This point is this point, and this point is this point. Okay. So this will be four, and this is five. So I am creating a circle in such part where the number of parts on the top will be more, and the number of parts below will be less. So Since I created a circle over here, how many parts are there on the top? One, two, three, four. Four parts are there on the top, and at the bottom, one, two, three. Three parts are there. Okay, three parts are there. Next, what do we do next? So this is that line which is passing. Next, what you have to do is you have to create a forty-five degrees angle over here. Okay, place your protractor like this. Okay, take forty-five degrees over here. Take forty-five degrees over here, and you will connect it like this. Okay, over here also, and over here also. Then the same technique from here. Place the protractor. Okay, mark forty-five degrees, forty-five degrees, and then connect them like this. All right. Next, what are we going to do next? What we will be doing is. we from this center to this center make a line then from this center to this center make a line okay so this is what it is going to appear okay this part it is going to appear like this and then from here to here and from here to here 
make lines like this then after that what you have to do is you have to divide every line okay this line this line this line and this line into three parts okay so you can use your calculator it will be very easy for you so three parts so this is one part this is okay one two three over here also one two okay one two three then the same technique over here okay one two three and over here also one two three next what you have to do you have to connect this to this okay let's do that like this i am connecting this point then over here then over here and over here then the same thing inside also okay this 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 and this and then again the same thing happens over here also theek hai so this is how it's going to look like so ignore this line okay the outer line you ignore this line okay just for making you understand in what way we are we are making the lines i have made this okay just ignore this line even if you have created just ignore this because we are not going to use these lines okay so what you have to do now is mark them okay let's do that this will be a this will be b this will be c this will be d then this will be e f g h then inside i j k l okay so what i am doing a b c d then inside e f g h then inside i j k l okay and then what we have to do next so let me just do it okay so it is like this so outer a b c d then e f g h then i j k l okay a b c d e f g h i j k l next what you have to do take a scale and a e i take vertical lines then b f j lines like this then c j k just extend that okay next over here h okay d then h then l all right then after doing that after extending the lines what you have to do is just imagine that these lines are like this i know i am creating a big mess in this part but i hope from the previous page you have understood how we are making the lines
Okay. I'm actually a bit worried because my phone battery is getting drained. It's just 5% and I hope that it does not switches off itself. Okay, don't worry. Even if it is getting off, I'll think of some alternative to make sure that uh, I'm able to complete this topic. Okay, so this is done. Next, what do we do now? Okay, so we have extended the points like this from AEI upwards, from BFJ like this, CGK like this, and DHL like this. Then what you have to do is take your compass from point A, okay, extend your compass so that it goes till point this last point okay till this point okay from a from a you have to extend it such that it reaches here then from there you have to create a curve such that it touches this point okay curve from here such that it touches this line B. Okay, next. This curve is coming from here till here. Next, what you will do is place your compass at point B and take this length and make a curve and reach this line. Okay, this is the line of C. Okay, this is the line of C. So from point B to this curve on the line B, you have to take the distance and create a curve. Then next from point C till here, take that distance and make curve. Then from point D and this distance, Create the curve such that it connects point E. Okay, so likewise, go on creating a curve. Okay, so this curve. Okay, from each point at every point, take that distance, create the curve, then from the next point. So we are done with A then B, then C, then D, then E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. So if you are going on doing it, okay, let me just explain this concept once again. So we are starting with point A and we are taking the distance till this point 8 and we are creating the curve. Okay, so this curve will go and touch this first line. Okay, and what is that first line where this first line is getting originated? It is getting originated from B. Okay, so point A distance is still this point 8 and curve. Then lift the compass, place the pin on point B and take distance from here till here where the this curve is ending. Take that distance and create the next curve. Then this curve will go and touch this first line which is coming from this point C. Okay, then once this line is over here, suppose this line, okay, it came from B and it is ending over here. Then what do you have to take next? You have to take the compass, place the point at C and the pencil at this point and create the curve till this line. So this line, okay, this line, it will be originating from D. Then take the compass, lift the compass from C, place it at D and take this distance and create the curve. So then the next curve will stop at 
this e okay because after d e will come then so on okay e to f then take the distance from f to that point then create the curve so in the end you are going to get some thing like this okay and then in the end you will get a circle but remember one thing guys this is when important advice from you from me to you all okay so the person who explained this okay the golden rule and the gibbs rule to me he has told me okay he gave me one advice and that advice i am passing out to you all okay that advice is 99 times okay 99 percent people okay mark this okay 99 percent people are not going to get a proper circle inside okay so simply what you do is just make a circle that's it okay we cannot do anything if you are not getting a curve probably you might have gone wrong in some calculations or something but if in case in the end if you are one among that 99 percent students who are not able to get that circle then just make a circle okay sacrifice that 10 marks and uh, aim for 8 marks okay if you are not getting 10 out of 10 probably you will get 7 or 8 okay but if you are one among that one person who has done everything with precision okay my god dude you are like a robot okay you probably you are, you belong to the alien species who is extremely talented just like jadu from koi milgya movie okay you are an extremely talented person so congratulations you are part of the 1% category but for all those who are part of the 99% category if you are not getting a circle like this don't worry okay you can just simply make a circle but the thing is you have to complete each and every alphabet that you are creating over here okay a b c d e f g h i j k l you have to complete every single al alphabet which is present over here okay guys so this ends the video series for gibbs rule and golden rule i wish all the people who are watching this video a very good luck for the exam tomorrow if in case you are getting any confusion or you're not able to follow up till now in the live sessions what you can do is just repeat this video and watch it all over again as many times as you want okay because these videos are available on my channel itself okay if in case these videos are not available like if you're not able to find those videos then simply message me and i'll share the link with you all right everyone so thank you so much for attend attending this session and I wish you all a very good luck for the exam tomorrow. Okay, so thank you so much. I'm, I'm ending.